I think we've all googled how to be successful at some point. But if success is just something you can google, then everyone would just have it. And so we have to understand that the self-help community online will not get you success. If you're following what millions on billions of other people are also following, you can't expect to be any different. My own thought process on this was just, what did a successful guy do? And nearly every video online is about this one question what's the best thing to do. But that is honestly why most of the advice doesn't work. We want to copy what the successful person did because if it worked for them, it should work for me, right? But the thing is, that's like looking at a bird in the sky and jumping out a window expecting to fly. Damn, that rhymed. Bars. <laughs> because the sad truth about success is that it's less about what you do and more about who you are. I'll explain it like this. Imagine if today, Elon gave you all his companies, his morning routine, his advice, everything, right? We know for a fact that in a year, two years, five years, you're gonna lose all the companies. Even with everything, you're still not Elon Musk. But the opposite is true as well. If you took away Elon's companies today, for some reason we know, not just think, we know for a fact that a year from now, two years, five years from now, he's gonna just build another one. He's just that kind of person. Elon isn't Elon because of one specific thing he does or even the companies that he's built. We understand that Elon Musk is Elon Musk because of something much more fundamental in his character. In other words, he's built different. <laughs> Successes are successes not because of what they do, but because of who they are. And that is why success advice doesn't work for you. If you aren't that kind of person, no one can give it to you. And if you are that kind of person, nobody can take it away. It's basically just the 80-20 rule. All these things that you see online, the top 10 ways, the tips and tricks, the Sigma male grindset compilations, the cold showers, the fucking the 10 steps to make your first $100 on the bitter truth behind being Sigma versus being Elf. These things are nice, but they're only going to get you like 20% of the way there. The majority, the 80% of what you actually want just comes down to this one question. Are you an extreme person? That's it, like on the bell curve of success, right? Most people are in the middle because most people are not really successful, not really unsuccessful. But the people on the ends, the ultra successful and the ultra failures, they're all extreme people. And so they have extreme ideas, they do extreme things, and they take extreme action, which leads them to either extreme success or extreme failure. When they have a crazy idea, they go all the way. And that's basically the story of every single successful person. Extreme person is extreme, he does extreme things and fails and fails and fails. He succeeds at one and now he has a gajillion dollars. But for most people, they'll never even have this crazy idea in the first place. And even if they do, they're so afraid of failure that they'll just never take action. <laughs> Funny joke, he did the thing. That is truly the difference between you and Elon, or Jobs, or Gates, or Zuckerberg. Mark, give, give us the Zuck. <laughs> they saw everybody walking one way and decided to go the other way every single time. And they were usually wrong. It's mostly just one correct idea that changes everything after hundreds of failed ideas. That's why successful people always have that one story where they hit rock bottom with like $3 in their pocket, stage 27 testicular cancer, and having to feed a family of 39 billion kids. Because those were the days when they were extreme failures. Because to be extremely right, you first have to be extremely wrong. And so, the extreme successes are simply just the extreme failures that never stopped. You want me to summarize every single motivational video in one quote so that you never have to watch another one again? To become something, you must first overcome something. That's it. You have to go against what's normal and keep going even though you're gonna fail hundreds of times. It's kind of like how in a video game when you're going down a certain path and there are more and more enemies and it's getting harder and you can hear the boss music get louder. If it's getting harder, you know you're on the right path. So that's what ties all successes together. That is the prerequisite, be extreme. Maybe they're extremely hardworking, extremely intelligent, extremely creative, extremely bald. But logically, you can't end up on the extreme sides of the bar graph without first being an extreme person in some regard. And I could honestly just end it right here. Too bad, if you're not extreme, just, I guess, choose better parents next time. If you're not built like that, yeah, too bad, take action. <laughs> but for most of my life, I was a Like just three months ago, my goal for 2023 Wait, let me show you. I have it right here. My goals for 2023 were to gain 10k subscribers and to gain 10 kilograms. But then I realized, if you're not an extreme person, set extreme goals 
and then you'll become an extreme person. It's kinda the same way if you're not a violent person and I put you into a war zone, you're gonna become a violent person. Or if you were a super clean person and I made you play League of Legends, you would just adapt. So I 10 times my goal, more than what normal people would consider reasonable. Not my fitness goals though, I don't want to gain 100 kilograms. I stopped watching all the BS content and if I do want to educate myself, I sit down and really invest like 2 hours into a full guide that will actually teach me something. Because you will never hear Elon Musk say, oh I owe all my success to this one Sigma male grind. You will never hear a successful person owe their success to a YouTube video. They always owe their success to either their hard work or their failures. And so now I work hard and if I fail, I'm okay with it. And even the video that you're watching right now, I spent 3 hours yesterday recording it and I didn't get anything good. And so when you, and so when you think about the 80-20 rule, you But after failing and failing and failing, I finally got one take that was really good and that's why you're watching this video right now. I just focus on the 20% of my work that gets me 80% of the results. I want 100k subscribers and the thing that gets me 80% of the results is simply writing and recording videos. I want to gain muscle and the thing that gets me 80% of the results is simply diet and exercise. And so if you don't have this extreme goal in your head right now, you don't know what it is like specifically, I guarantee that you will fail. And if you don't know the action that gets you 80% of the benefits, I will literally your future life. Because that's really it. That's the step-by-step -step guide to success. Be an extreme person or just have extreme goals. And then step two, work on the thing that gets you 80% of the results. Step three, you're gonna fail. Then step four, go back to step one. That's it. It's really generic advice. Have goals. But again, it was never about the advice. It was about who you are. Again, it all starts with this extreme goal or idea that runs completely contrary to what everyone else believes. And when you become this extreme person, these goals and ideas just find you on their own and you obsess over them because you're extreme. And after months of being more and more extreme, I'm slowly changing who I am. Like just three months ago, my goals were one thing, but I also just struggled to make a video. I made like two videos a month. I spent most of my time watching useless YouTube videos, then made YouTube videos about me watching useless YouTube videos. Damn. And now three months later, I'm getting so much more extreme and like obsessive. Like, I get the thought, like this mantra, am I doing the 80% right now? Am I doing the 80% right now? Am I doing the 80% right now? And at a glance at what I'm currently doing, I know if I'm bullshitting myself or not. I can't lie to myself. If I'm laying down in bed, just like, texting people on discord i know i'm not being productive when that thought pops into my head i can't lie to myself because this is not something someone else gave me this is something i found out for myself i'm pushing myself so if you think back to the past week or month of work have you been doing the 80 percent and answer honestly because this will shatter your ego but if you can't even master the 80 percent there's no point thinking about the 20 percent because that's what people in the middle of the bell curve do normal people don't even think it's possible to achieve more by doing less but because successful people have such extreme goals they realize that it's not only possible to achieve more by doing less but with such big goals it's absolutely mandatory so it's simple but extreme goals push you to the extreme that's it that's how you become an extreme person so when this video ends you should know if your goals are big enough or not if they seem a little too big if they seem a little bit too extreme for you that's when your goals are just big enough so really look at your goals and just obsess over them obsess over the thing that gets you 80 percent of the way there because you want to become something right well then you need something extreme to overcome take action elon musk is elon musk no shit, he is f bro i'm not doing 80 percent right now i'm just i'm just talking to the camera the video should be over i should be doing something productive i should be doing push-ups <gasps> okay i'm gonna do it now <laughs> all right give me a kiss Mwah.